excuse me, check out kingwin.net, your opportunity to make fantastic savings on predominantly PC games, but also console ones as well. Games such as Star Wars Battlefront 2, Assassin's Creed, even GTA. With 24 seven customer support, you can be rest assured it's safe, it's reliable, it's efficient. On top of that, there's extra savings to be had as long as you enter discount code BORN at the checkout. That's kingwin.net, link and discount code in the description box. GT Sport update, they've listened. News flashed, incoming. Oh my goodness, you saw the title, you saw the thumbnail. It's true, it's true, it's damn true. We complained, we campaigned, they listened, and now it is official, yes. The much loved, the much acclaimed, the much missed single player career mode is coming back to Gran Turismo. It's coming as an update to Gran Turismo Sport and it's only a matter of weeks away. Now before I start I need to give a massive, massive, massive shout out to Dori Pieterse. I'm sorry if I've got your name wrong. I'm sorry if I've got your name wrong. This is the kind person who actually hit me up about this and gave me the notification. So of course I had to go and check it out straight away. But, but without further ado, let's head over to the official website and see the official press release in relation to this news. Right. Gran Turismo Sport incoming updates add new cars, offline play, GT League and more. Posted by Tim Hodges. It has been a few weeks since we launched GT Sport and it's been really exciting to see so many people take to the track. In fact, we've already seen over 26 million hours of gameplay around the world. So now we want to share with you our plan for what's next with the game, including new cars and game features through patch 1.06 in November and the introduction of the GT League in December. So patch 1.06 from November 27th, we'll begin rolling out new cars and kicking off with these three free new cars that you can see on screen. In addition to the new cars, when the patch drops on November 27th, you can also look forward to the new livery editor, scapes and campaign modes becoming available to play offline you will still require an internet access to save your progress, which is understandable. There will also be various tweaks and adjustments to balance the gameplay. GT League coming December 2017. Launching as part of our free December update, we'll be introducing a brand new single player mode called GT League, based on the old GT mode of previous titles. Players can now look forward to racing through a series of cup competitions from beginner to pro levels and even partake in endurance races. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a bit giddy reading this. Check out the screenshots below to get a sneak peek of what you can expect in December. We'll be adding more races to the leagues in 2018. So there you go, you've got a nice shot here of the different types of leagues available. Beginner league, amateur professional and endurance. Uh, what else have we got? We've got an example of the different classes that you can get yourself involved into. So you've got mid-engine rear-wheel drive challenge, you've got four-wheel drive, you've got front... Oh my goodness! Nostalgia, nostalgia, nostalgia. Oh yes, uh, we've got the Sunday Cup, the much-loved Mitsubishi Evo 10 on the front cover. Ah, uh, Boxer Spirit. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe what I'm seeing! New cars coming December 2017. In addition, the following 12 cars will be added to the game in the free update of December 2017. So, the Mazda RX-7 Spirit R Type A, the Nissan Skyline GTR V Spec 2, the R32, uh, Nissan Skyline GTR V Spec 2 Nur, the R34, the F-150 Raptor, the Lamborghini Countach, Ferrari F40, the Enzo Ferrari, the KTM Expo R, Suzuki Swift Sport, I am going to be driving that, I love that car, the Volkswagen Samba Bus Type 2, Chris Holstrom Concepts 1967 Chevy Nova, the Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Convertible C3. From now to March 2018, a total of approximately 50 cars are already planned for addition to the game and the updates will continue beyond March. You can of course look forward to the addition of new tracks as well, so stay tuned. Be sure to stay tuned to official GT and PlayStation channels as there are plenty more updates to come from the team. Until then, happy racing. That round of applause was for various reasons. First and foremost, it was for these guys, not for giving us what we should have had at the beginning, but for actually listening, showing they care, keeping an open mind, 
keeping their ears open and responding. Not only have they responded to what we want, not only have they given us what should have been there from the beginning, but most impressively, they've managed to respond before the calendar year is out. GT Sport only launched, what, was it six weeks? Maybe two months ago at best? And uh, I think it's fair to say that I was probably one of the most vocal people when it came to going at their neck for what I perceived to be an absolutely terrible decision to leave out this mode. All of a sudden, that $60 or 50 pounds you put down now becomes value for money. This was never, ever, ever a debate. This was never an argument. This was never an online campaign crowd versus offline crowd, no. My whole reason for making the video that I made for campaigning the way that I campaigned was to ensure that everybody got to enjoy parts of the game which suited their gameplay and suited what they wanted to do. I've always said from the beginning, a good game is a game that gives you choice and Gran Turismo Sport is now giving you that choice. You can spend hours upon hours upon hours, night upon night upon night in front of your console, hopefully with a beat down banger and then taking it up through the ranks to become a supercar or a super sleeper, whatever you want. And if you fancy going online and racing against other people, you've still got that there. This now has forced me, it has forced my hand. I now absolutely have to go out and buy a PS4 for a second time after not having one for nearly a year and a half. I've got to go out and buy a PS4 because Gran Turismo Sport is now a playable option. It's now a viable option for me. Oh gosh, I can't believe it. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't expecting this at all. This is such a great surprise. I'm happy. I'm, I, what, what about you guys, man? Are you happy about this? Surely you've got to be happy about this. This is good news. As always, I am more than interested in knowing what you guys' thoughts are around this. Are you happy that you are getting offline gameplay? Are you happy that you're getting a whole load of new cars? 50 by March. Are you happy that you're getting your single player traditional Gran Turismo experience being brought straight back? If you didn't buy the game, if you're put off previously are you gonna go out and buy the game now let me know in the comments guys as always if it's your first time around here i wish you a born welcome hit the like button hit the subscribe button and swing the damn hell out of the notification bell so you know when the next video drops there will be more need for speed payback coming probably by the weekend and of course there will be some sort of gran turismo gameplay coming on the channel at some stage in the not too distant future hmm Black Friday is two days away. Mm, it could be coming around sooner than you think. But anyway, in the meantime, I'll see you when the next video comes out. Take it easy. Peace.